Hello and welcome to day 21 of the Any10 series. In the last video, we saw how do we create a WhatsApp template. And in today's video, let's see how do we send this WhatsApp template to multiple users and also check the status of our delivery. So let's get started. So let me just move this notes aside and we want to send a template mess based message and for that let me just uh, create a manual trigger okay so that's what it is here and now we want to send whatsapp based template message so we go here and we have one more option which is send the template and that's what is this we could use the thousand days uh, abcd account okay and resources message operation is send template now we want to send from a particular phone number uh, right now we just have the test number uh, you will not be able to use this for uh, long. Of course, uh, even if you use this is not uh, associated with your business. You won't be able to use this number for long because this is not associated with your business and your users do not want to be getting from some getting message from some random number. So uh, go ahead and create your own uh, number that is update your number get it verified by facebook it may take about a week or so but that's worth your time now recipient phone number we have to add for now let me add my own number or our business number and the template so right now we have just two templates in this particular account and ganesh festival wishes is something that we just created yesterday so i'm going to use that now there are two parameters let's go back to our template and this is the template let's open this and if we go here, uh, if we go to edit template, then there are two parameters. The first one is the name. The second one is the image, right? So let's come back and we have to add components. And the first one is the header and parameter. And this is of type. And to add those parameters or rather variables as they call it as, uh, we have to click on add component. And the first one is in the header, add parameter, and it is of type image. So we have to upload the image link here. For the image uh, link, I have uh, used uh, image to url.com. Uh, so you could also use that. So we've got this image to url.com slash images, and then the image uh, link. Okay, so I will uh, use this. Click on execute step and there you go. So the message template has been sent. Now, if you see here message status as accepted, this does not mean that the message has been sent. It only means that our request to send this template message to a particular user has been accepted by WhatsApp. Okay. Now to understand if the message has actually been sent or not, we have to use a trigger. And let me quickly show you how that actually works. So this is a workflow that we have already created. Uh, you have to use the WhatsApp trigger. So if you go here, you have this one. And uh, okay, not, not the trigger. Okay, we already have a trigger here. So to check the status of the template, you have to go here and search for WhatsApp. And then uh, if you go to triggers, you have this on message template status update, right? You have to use this one. Let me quickly show you uh, how it works. And to check how the status can be checked, let's go back to one more workflow. And uh, here I'll make it as uh, WhatsApp message status check, right? So here we're going to use uh, WhatsApp business cloud and we have um, on messages. Right, you could check it for all, which means uh, it supports all type of uh, delivery status. Or if you want a particular one like delivered or failed or something like that, you could do that. Let's go with all. And I'll click on execute. And before I click on execute, we'll have to click on execute step here, which starts listening to any events. And now I'll click on execute workflow and you can actually see that these details will come here. Sorry, before that, I'll have to use the same account. Click on execute step. 
come back and execute workflow. So it is sent from here successfully. So it should be listening here pretty soon. There you go. So this is the recipient ID it says. Uh, the template was uh, of type uh, marketing and this is delivered, right? Let me show you that I've received that particular message over here. So this is a message with the image and the name coming here and all the details like visit community website and also I want to join, right? So that's how we can check the status. Of course, you can update this into Google Sheets or whatever it is. Now let's go and check how do we do the bulk sending message, right? So let's have it over here. I'll delete this connection for now. And we need to use get uh, Google Sheets, basically get uh, rows in sheet. Okay. And I've also created uh, Google Sheets here with uh, the names and their phone numbers. That's how we can send the bulk uh, it is. From list, let's search for bulk WhatsApp. And sheet is just one. Sheet one. Okay, we don't want to add any filters. Just click on execute step. We'll get all the details. Row two, rotation, all of that. If you go to table, then we have all the dates, right? So uh, we could just connect this or we could use loop over items, which we have already covered. Um, I would also like to show you how do we limit, right? You could also limit it to, let's say three items. Okay, and then we connect this. So connect it over here. Now go to uh, the WhatsApp template sending message and connect it. Make this dynamic. Right. This is one of the dynamic parameters and this is the second dynamic parameter. Okay. Now let me click on exhibit workflow and it will send to all the three items. Phone number replace is not a function. Okay. Yeah. So here uh, I'm going to use uh, data transformation and AI transfer because the number that we are getting from Google Sheets is in number format and what we need is uh, text format. So I'll click on execute until here. So go back here and see what's up. Remember should be in text format and click on execute step. So you can see here hash, which means it is in number format. And WhatsApp number that we have here, if you go to schema, then it is in text format. Okay. Now we connect this one to WhatsApp and we go back here. And what we do is we make this one as this particular thing. And the name is this one. Click on execute step. Now you can see here it says recipient phone number not in allowed list. That's because we are in the test uh, number. If we go here, so we had added just one test number. So we can't uh, send the message from test numbers. And that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our account. And I quickly show you with one of our uh, numbers, which is approved. So I'll go here and uh, send a phone number will be this one. Okay. And uh, let's go to promotional template and we have the image and uh, the text. So I'll click on execute step and this goes out, right? So if I click on this one, it goes to all the three users. So we three items, three items, three items. And if you go back to this one and click see the executions, then you should be able to see all of that. This was the message which was sent to uh, my number and uh, it was delivered. Let's check other things. And before I click on execute to workflow here, I'll have to change the trigger here as well. And maybe this one. Click on execute step, so it listens. I go back here and click on execute workflow. So it's sent to all the three items, all the three numbers basically, and you've got it here, all right? So if I go to uh, table, then you can see that it is sent to this particular number and uh, it is marketing 
thick and this is just synced as of now okay so let's go back and click on execute workflow let's go to executions and let's see it so this is the one which is sent to my number and this is delivered let's go to other number and this says failed because uh, the message was not delivered to maintain healthy ecosystem engagement this message was not delivered to maintain healthy ecosystem engagement in order to maintain a healthy ecosystem engagement the message failed to be delivered okay so this was some random number that i chose to send right and uh, that's why so if we go here it was just a couple of numbers changed uh, maybe the number does not exist or maybe whatsapp has a method where it does not reach out to some random numbers right so again this was not delivered and this was also not delivered hopefully and this says it's saint so maybe this number exists and hopefully that person whoever receives will probably join our community and get along with us so that's how you send bulk messages on whatsapp using an item and you could also check the status of the delivery and update them in google sheets as well i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one next one is going to be even more interesting so please do not miss it